Schön. A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough of jumps. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No need to fight back, sugar. Don't let her bind your arms! Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions! Bring me to her sensor manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on! Oh, I'll turn you on, all right? Just let me at you! What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys! I'm on fire! Closer! I can't reach her! I'm trying, I'm trying! She's one strong-ass bitch! I'm at your service, sugar! Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the correspondent. But I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for you. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do, jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. What's with the Vovas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular VOVA6s follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want and just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP.
Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. They say Monday Fly room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> How much time and effort is it going to take to fix this damn place? I agree. It's a troubling sight. Regardless, robots will be able to repair the damage quite quickly. I seriously doubt that- Comrade Major! You said you knew how to avoid the camera! I expected more subtlety from a professional such as yourself! Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. This was one of those times! Aha! You found the key! We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep, but I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help.
Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. suggests the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Access granted.
swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. I suppose there's the control panel and of course it's locked you guys just love these things don't you but this is a new one a combination lock ah it'd take me a year to guess the combo look around maybe someone has the code something's got to move anything uh what was that Schematic facilities. You hear me? It should be somewhere around here. We just need to make it to the cable cards facility. Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they going to talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. The schematic! Need to find the schematic! They won't go without the schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me. Holy fuck. A talking corpse. Talking corpse. Maybe this is all for the best. Oh, I'm a that big silly. I need to find that piece of paper. Where the heck did it go? Oh, it's so dark. <clears throat> we just need to make it to the cable cards. This works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket. We are ready to depart. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Careful, there's a 
gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Robs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Serious security. 
People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. Uh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just... Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. Oh, that hurt. That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya's special operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning! Hey, freeze! Warning! Yeah, right away. Lockdown in progress. around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. Now I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system.
always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. Looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. Ugh. <sighs> 